Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin from GreyFlorals.com and today I have another episode for the Challenger Stash YouTube Hop. So if you want to um, check out everyone else's videos in this hop, go down to my description box below and check them all out. I'll have them all listed. Um, the challenge this week was a recipe and we had to use at least two photos, a chipboard, a title that was a song title or song lyric, and I think there was one more, but not, oh, maybe background pattern paper, if I remember correctly. So I'm starting off with this DCW V uh, pattern striped paper. It's gray and white, and two photos of um, the spaghetti dinner, um, which you'll see relates to the title later. So I'm just pulling out this chipboard ampersand from the Bow Bunny collection. It's called Modern Miss. Um, I have this yellow envelope, but I don't end up making that work well, so I just scratched that idea. Now I'm looking for some cardstock or some pattern paper to use as a layering piece. Um, I end up pulling out a collection from Pebbles. It's their Valentine's Day collection. And I'll be using one sheet out of that, and it's this arrow one. And then I'll also be pulling out a really, really old Creative Memories piece of paper. That I will cut a little bit off of. So I'm going to cut this into half so I have two three by six sections so I can make a 12 inch section. And now my layout's starting to come together and then I'm going to look for the other paper now. I couldn't tell you what collection this Creative Memories paper is from or anything but um, it's like this really interesting texture looking paper as you can see and I'm going to add some uh, border punch to that to give it more um, texture. I end up choosing this Fisker's Punch, and it's just the scallop border. I don't even know if Fisker sells border punches anymore. I think they look completely different. I think they're like the white color now. I don't know. This is pretty old, though. So I'm just going to punch that all the way across. And layer that on top of the arrow paper. It almost exactly matches the colors of the arrows, which is cool. So there's how that's going to look. And I later decide I want to do some stitching on this layout, so we'll see that in a little bit, but I do cut most of that out. I pull out a doily, which I don't end up really using there. I move it a little bit, but that's okay. And I also don't keep the tag there, but I will use the tag, so it'll get moved. I'm looking for papers to mount my photo on now, and I can't decide, of course. So I first decide I'm going to use white cardstock to add a little border. And first I have to write down the date on the back of my photos before I forget, and forget to put it on the layout. Which, if I remember correctly, I still haven't put that date on the layout yet. But that's okay. So now I'm just going to mount both of those photos and trim them down so I have a nice border. And then I also believe I'm going to add cardstock behind there as well. I think it's just colored cardstock though, as another layer if I remember correctly. So I think I want to add like some more elements, like label stickers, or I'm looking for a title. I have no idea what I want to do yet, um, but my title has to be a song lyric, if you remember that's from the recipe challenge. And um, if you guys want to join in on this um, challenge too, we'd love to see your videos. Um, if you do end up posting a layout, just um, tag me on Instagram or something and I'd be very excited to look at it. So I'm still debating on what I want to do. I found um, this fabric tape that I have from a grab box from Peachy Cheap, and it's a very textured fabric tape. So I decided to use that. I'm going to start gluing down my elements here, though, so I can glue the tape down. And the tape's really weird. I have to use adhesive with it. I mean, it comes with adhesive, but like, if you take the adhesive backing off of it, it falls apart. So I have to leave the adhesive backing on and just use um some ATG tape to hold it on, as you'll see here. And then I'm just going to trim that off. And again, this background paper is from GCWB from their mini album stack. So now I realize that I want more texture, so I'm going to do some stitching with my Amy Tangerine stitching set in this maroon embroidery thread color. So I'm going to cut all the stitching out, but I just um, hand punched all of my holes so I can have an X pattern which you'll see me do. So I start doing that, and then when I come back, it'll be all done. So it's the magic of editing. 
So I just punched all the holes across and then I sewed them all across. And now I'm going to tape the back of the strings down. I think the cheapest way to buy um, a bunch of embroidery floss like I have is a 50% um, off coupon or higher at Joann's or Michael's. They have a giant pack of different embroidery flosses which works well and then you can just supplement with um, individuals later. So my title for this layout is going to be On Top of Spaghetti which is part of that children's song. And I originally pulled out these letters from the Oh Darling Crepe Paper Collection but they end up not working with my color scheme very well. So you'll see me pick all of those up, which takes forever. And what I do decide on is to use some thickers. Now it was hard to um, place this title because spaghetti is a really long word. And um, it was also hard to find a font that had all the letters I needed. Which is interesting because spaghetti is like an, just an odd word in general. So I look at a lot of elf stickers, and I mean a lot. So you see me look at these and I don't have the right letters. And then I look at other ones, so now I'm going to go with my thickers. So I'm looking here, and I decide to look at these ones that are chipboard and they have like little stitched lines. So I start putting the title down here, and this is where it'll stay, but of course I have to move it a bazillion times. So I got this um, title. So I'm like, okay, well it'll fit there. It, it won't fit there, I don't know why I even tried. I knew it wasn't going to fit there. Look how many, I ran out of so much room. So I try rearranging, and I don't like that either, so it goes, it's going to go back down to the bottom. And now I'm trying to figure out what to use for the first half of the title, which was also difficult. But instead I just try to decide to um, start gluing down everything. And I want to put some foam behind my photo there. And what I have to do is go back and glue these all down with some um, Scotch Quick Dry because the chipboard thickers are notorious for falling off layouts after time so make sure you guys use some liquid adhesive on the back as well. So then I think I might use all of these for the rest of my title. And then I was like way too much. It was far too much. And the ampersand didn't make sense there now and it just ruined everything. <laughs> so I decided that can't work. So I'm going to put all those back in the wrong spots on the sticker sheet once I'm done fiddling with them. And I realized I think I need something smaller. So I'm thinking maybe if I moved the embellishment cluster to the right side, that might work out better. So now I'm desperately looking for something else, and I find these pink glitter stickers. Now this is my boyfriend in the picture, obviously, but um, this is a very like feminine colored page. I mean, it has a lot of gray and black, but it also has a lot of pink. So I figured the pink glitter stickers are fine. It doesn't really matter. Um, so this is how I finish off my title. So these are some Heidi Swap glitter stickers. Um, I think they're from our planner collection. So they might not be in your normal scrapbooking aisle. Um, check the planner section. I don't know if they still sell these at Michael's or not. But that's why I picked mine up. Um, so now that my title's done, I can work on gluing the photos down. Whenever I use fun foam, I have to use liquid and um, tape runner glue because it never wants to stick to anything. I don't know why, but it just does that for me. So now I'm thinking, okay, I can do a cluster on the left side of the photos and the right side of the photos. So I'm going to put the ampersand on the right side. And on the left side, I think I'll put the tag. Now the doily again is on the left side. It does not go on the left side. It'll end up going on the right side with the ampersand. So I'm going to move that later. Right now I'm looking for things that match this weird maroon color that I picked out because I have nothing that matches this. So I'm, I'm desperately looking for something, but I know. Uh, finding these label tags from Freckled Fawn that I use, and they're not the right color at all, but it looks fine up there, and I can write the date up there. It more so matches the color of the ampersand than it does the pattern paper and the thread that I used. So I'm going to use some of the leftover embro um, embroidery floss and put that through my tag and a little bit under the ampersand on the right, just to bring up more of that maroon color. And now I'm looking for my flowers, but I don't have any that match as well. Um, they also don't feel fitting on a spaghetti page. So. And then I find these thicker set, and I know this color matches pretty well. So I end up pulling out, I believe, a heart. Maybe two hearts. But I decide, well, I need to glue some stuff down before I can um, start arranging embellishments. So this doily is from my local dollar store. 
I glued that down. And now everything on the right hand side is glued down. And now I can work on the left. So I use my border punch on the bottom of this tag on the left just to add some more of that scalloped. And then I also use that heart from the um, thicker set. And then these stickers are a pink ombre and they are from the Recollections collection for their planners. Um, again, not the exact right color, but it works well with this layout. And that pretty much finishes this layout up. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to check out everyone's links down below. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.